I'm Dr. John, and this is your Maintenance Minute. We're going to start a series of conversations about maintenance and reliability metrics and key performance indicators. And this very first conversation we're going to have is probably the most controversial because I believe it, it came from me personally in the sense that I sort of came up with this thought years ago. In fact, I believe it so much that I actually put it in writing in two different books. So as Colin Powell says, if you break something, you own it. So since I believe this is my own personal opinion, I'm going to own this. And as I mentioned, I think I've uh, owned that directly by putting it in two books and saying and by my, my, uh, my thoughts on this one. So here's what I believe to be true. This is the difference between metrics and key performance indicators. Now, I know we can use those interchangeably, and I'm not suggesting that we shouldn't. I'm simply saying I believe there is a difference between a metric and a key performance indicator. A metric is, is something that we take a measure of to see uh, how, how big it is, how large, how much it weighs, how long it is, to, to see the scale of it, the size of it. We're going to get on the scale, essentially, and see how much we weigh. That is a metric. What makes a metric a key performance indicator, so that is to say a key performance indicator is a type of metric. A key performance indicator is a type of metric that is tied directly to a stated goal or objective. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to lose weight. You just, your pants are a little tight, shirts are a little snug, you just want to lose some weight for no particular reason other than you just want to feel better. You get on the scale, you see how much you weigh, that weight is a metric. You put that on a graph, you maybe eat less, exercise a little bit more, you're just doing the kinds of things to lose some weight. And you get on the scale again in a week and you kind of track and start trending your weight loss. That is a metric. What makes that metric a key performance indicator is the intent of the use. Tied to a stated goal or objective. Again, here's an example. Let's say you want to lose 35 pounds in seven months because your high school reunion is coming up in the, in the summertime. So if you take 35 divided by seven, you can see you need to lose five pounds a month. So just like a metric, you get on the scale, you see where you're starting from. Remember the status quo, you gotta own where you're starting from. You gotta own where you're beginning. You eat less, you exercise more, you do the kinds of things you need to do to lose weight. You get on the scale a month later, you see that you lost five pounds. Now what you're gonna do, is you're going to hold steady to the course. You're going to do exactly what you just did. If after the end of the second month, you've only lost four pounds, now you have in your mind the third month you need to lose six pounds to get back on track. Now note, in this second scenario, I want to lose 35 pounds. That's a specific. In seven months, again, specific for a stated goal or objective, which is because my high school reunion is coming up in seven months. And also the way you can tell the difference between a metric, just something that you're measuring to see the, the scale of it versus a key performance indicator. If the value is not where you need it to be based on your strategy, so there's a secret right there, I have a strategy to control and improve this number. If it's not where it needs to be, I'm gonna do something to get back on track. I'm gonna lose six pounds in the third month to get back on track. That's what I believe the difference is, the notable difference between a metric and a key performance indicator. Uh, pardon me, a key performance indicator. Again, a key performance indicator is a type of metric that is tied directly to a stated goal or objective. I'm John Ross, and this has been your Maintenance Minute.